I'm Ava Rogers and I'm here today with my mentor and one of my best friends, Charles Horton. Charles is involved with many entrepreneurial projects and one of those includes the boardroom. How are you today, Charles? I'm great, Amber. The boardroom is ab absolutely a total passion of mine. We invite in uh, entrepreneurs or would-be entrepreneurs to present their ideas to a panel of experts. Uh, many of them are angel investors. We let them present their item, we give them advice, and sometimes we make investments in it. But the key thing for it is it is educational for the audience that's the key desire for the boardroom is we bring it in for a live audience and we're educational if you want to be an entrepreneur you can learn a lot of information in the boardroom i absolutely love the boardroom as well i mean we get the opportunity to make people's dreams come true we, we see amazing ideas and i know that i personally learn every single time i'm in the boardroom what has been your biggest takeaway from some of the events that you've had my biggest takeaway is that people aren't really prepared to go in and do presentations and that's a lot of what we end up doing is teaching people how to do proper presentations if you want to raise capital you need to know what you're doing. You need to have an idea of how much money you're going to need to do it. And you've got to have a presentation that's going to wow the investors into uh, buying into your idea and your program. There's a lot of good ideas out there, and you've got to have a reason for somebody to want to put their hard money into your idea, your brainchild. Well, right, and I think that one of the things that people don't consider sometimes is how is that investor getting paid back? The investor wants to know, you know, if I'm writing you this check, how am I getting paid back? Amber, I've had so many people come in and say that they want to give, like, no equity, they want to do 10% interest, and they have horrible credit, and they uh, have no collateral whatsoever, and it's just not... Uh, something that an investor is going to do. In the stock market, I'm getting 60-70% typically, if, and that's in a liquid environment where I can pull the money out. Investors aren't so excited about putting all of their hard-earned money into a, to a, a business idea with the return of 10%. Right, I understand that. But I do hear a lot of times in the boardroom that they're investing in the person as much as the, the idea. What do you think about that? I, I got to believe in the person first. The business idea comes second, but it's really about the person. If they don't have a history and a background of having achieved things, they got to wow me with their uh, with their energy and their passion to obtain their dreams because it is all about the person. As an angel investor, I'm not the least bit interested in going in and running a business. I want that person with their passion and their energy to make it happen. Well, so what I love about you, Charles, is the fact that nobody handed you anything. Can you tell me what drove you to achieve the level of success you have? Growing up with uh, with, a, with an evil stepfather uh, put me in the hospital a couple of times, but it made me independent. So I have since the age of 15, 16 years old, I've been making more money than my parents. I've been independent, and that that's really what drove me there. It was just a fierce desire not to have to depend on anybody. Wow, wow. So do you want to wrap up with any final thoughts? Well, I do. I want to say come out to the boardroom. It's, <laughs> it's, it's live in Flower Mountain, Texas at my, uh, at my house and my estate. I have a 2,000 square foot meeting room. It's a great networking opportunity. You're going to meet a, la a lot of like-minded people that have goals and dreams and ambitions as well. And uh, you're going to learn a lot, I promise. Where can they find that information, Charles? Boardroomlessons.com. Boardroomlessons.com. Amazing. Thank you.